In January 1966, a crucial test flight for the Blackbird SR-71 spy plane is about to run into trouble. On board are pilot Bill Weaver and reconnaissance specialist Jim Zweyer. 79,000 feet up, after losing control at Mach 3, the plane starts to disintegrate. At Edwards Air Force Base, Weaver and Zweyer's Blackbird disappears from the tracking radar. Both crew members are presumed dead. I found out it was Bill Weaver, and his locker was near mine, and, I, and there were two cigars. Gilliland takes one of his friend's cigars to smoke in his memory. But Bill Weaver isn't dead. He had been free falling from the very edge of space. I thought I was having a terrible dream, a nightmare. And then I realized I wasn't dreaming, so I must be dead. And then I realized that I'm not dead, and somehow I'm out of the airplane. Weaver doesn't know if his parachute is still attached until it springs open. Now his thoughts turn to his flying mate, Jim Zweyer. Jim Zweyer's parachute looked like it was about a quarter mile away. And that was really a relief. I didn't think either one of us was going to survive, but to think that both of us had was tremendous relief. Weaver lands in New Mexico, 800 miles from the base. On the ground, he learns the sad news. His friend Jim has not survived after all. His neck broken, he had died the instant the plane disintegrated. To find out that he had died, it was really devastating. He was a wonderful guy, I believe he was one of the best. An investigation found that optimizing the plane's performance had made it less stable. That led to a loss of control, which put the airframe under catastrophic strain. At the base, a call comes through to the accident investigation chief. He says, yes, I will take a uh, collect call from uh, Mr. Bill Weaver. <laughs> and uh, and I, then I heard that, and I knew he would survive, so I was real thrilled at that. I told him I was going to get the Castro's best cigars I could find. And he said he was going to get me expensive replacements, and I haven't gotten them yet. That was 1966. 